We've got breaking news coming in on centre stage this evening that two North Delhi MLAs are telling us that they want to join Vinod Bini in his protest against uh, Arvind Kejriwal. Is the Aam Aadmi Party turning out to be just like any other political formation? Is this the end of Kejriwal's honeymoon? Joining us on centre stage tonight, I first want to begin by introducing Smriti Irani, Member of Parliament, National Vice President of the BJP, also with us at this time, Sanjay Jha. We've got Captain Gopinath, who joined the Aam Aadmi Party as a member, but now is threatening to revolt against their economic policies. Also joining us from Bangalore. I first want to go across to Smriti Irani. Your sense on the interview that we've done with Bini, where he's threatening to go on a hunger strike against Kejriwal. Do you think Kejriwal's honeymoon is over? And is your sense that the Aam Aadmi Party has now begun to unravel? Smriti Irani. I think it's quite unfortunate that the people of Delhi who voted for Arvind K. Jreval and the Aam Aadmi Party voted with a sense of hope, voted against corruption, voted for a better form of governance and today those very voters I'm sure uh, are extremely miserable with the uh, dramatics of various Aam Aadmi Party leaders, members uh, and uh, especially the MLAs who under the leadership of Arvind K. Jreval today point a finger at him and call him names. It is an unfortunate because people of Delhi who voted for Arvind Kejriwal thought that they will, that Arvind Kejriwal will bring in a change. But all that he brought in was utter chaos in governance, which was seen through the uh, Janta Darbar, which was cancelled, a promise which was withdrawn from the people of Delhi, uh, through the promise uh, withdrawn vis-a-vis -vis the so-called security that he would uh, do away with, but very nicely embraced uh, away from the cameras, from the okay. Sarkari house that he wanted to shun, but took in. So we'll I think we'll the touch on all these points, the one by one on KJ the program. Well. I want to go across to Captain Gopinath. Captain Gopinath, you joined the Aam Aadmi Party, Within hours, you've threatened revolt against Kejriwal. You're upset about his stand on foreign direct investment in retail. But I spoke to people in Kejriwal's team. They're angry with you. They're saying Captain Gopinath and others like him should have read the Aam Aadmi Party manifesto before blindly joining the party. They say we were fully transparent. We told everyone what our stand on FDI in retail was. Why is Captain Gopinath doing this drama? No, I think, uh, uh, let me put things in the perspective. Uh, I joined the party, uh, like many people who voted for uh, Kejriwal, because I admired him as a fearless man who brought about a change in uh, Indian politics. He demonstrated convincingly that he can win an election without money power, without muscle power, and without caste politics. And that was the main plank. Obviously, I have not read all the small print, uh, and even if the, if the manifesto is there, I'm not revol revolting, I'm not rebelling. I think it is my duty uh, to give my uh, opinion if I think uh, that there is something uh, which is against the larger interests of the nation. And uh, I think people must take it in the right spirit because there's no high command politics here. That is one of the reasons why I joined the Ahmadi party, that there is no high command politics. No, but when you join and a you party, disagree, is it not important, you know, Captain Gopinath, for you at least at the very minimum to be in agreement with what the party stands for? People in the Ahmadi party are very not, not angry with you because you've embarrassed the party. You've gone That's out right. and spoken against their policy on a policy that they'd announced earlier. It's not as if they've just formulated no, a stand uh, on FDI and retail. This is what they've been no, no, saying that, consistently uh, for the longest time, Captain Gopinath. Are you not being highly irresponsible right. no, no, by joining the party and then dissing their policy? <laughs> well, I think this for the people to judge and also the Ahmadmi party to judge if I'm irresponsible. All that I'm saying is the party has just come to power and uh, it is a watershed moment in India's history. It is the greatest moment in India's history that uh, they have changed the very nature of politics. And we should all be grateful to Anna Hazare and Kejriwal. But having said that, I am only opposing the way the decisions are being taken on the larger issues of economic policy, fiscal policy, defense, and foreign affairs. I think they should step back a little bit and, and, and discuss amongst themselves, deliberate, okay. bring in some experts, and come out with a, come out with a long term policy document. Okay, Captain Gopinath is not a, the only a, a, voice of dissent statement. in the Aam Aadmi Party. We began second, the show second. with Vinod Rahul, Bini. One last one minute. Yes, go on. Rahul. Complete your argument. Rahul, Rahul, 
so one more point I want to say is that the, the danger, you know, it's, it's the day, it, uh, what I'm saying is the way it is being done, the Amadmi party stands in real danger of being branded as the same kind of politics that BJP and, and, uh, and uh, Congress did, that is opposed for the sake of opposing. You are paying into the hands of the uh, crony capitalism of, uh, you know, people like, uh, you know, the Indian corporates. That means you are saying it is okay for the Indian corporates to rape India and not the foreign direct investment. All that I am saying is, now, okay. you need to deliberate upon it, you need to think on this because these are all serious issues. Because Two voices. The way you do it, if you do it, Two important then, then voices of dissent. I also want.